Hey guys, Priestess Melissa coming back here today to teach you a little bit more about stress and the lymphatic system and just make more of a connection with all of that. So how many of you out there deal with pain in your body, inflammation, bloating, those kinds of things, and you want to know more how to help those processes, all right? so. First of all, understanding how the, you know stress works within the body, what that produces and things of that nature is so important. And there is a man out there that, it, and he is deceased unfortunately, but he did teach for many years, 17 years to be exact, in about 200 cities a year. Now his findings were so impressive that the International Society of Lymphologists, which are a board of lymphologists, medical doctors, who continue to do research on the lymphatic system and gave credit to the findings of Dr. C. Samuel West. Now his background was in pre-med, also in chemistry and as a naturopath. So he combined all of these understandings along with understandings and findings that were being made back as early as the 30s by Dr. Merson, and then leading off into Dr. Guyton, doing some uh, also some findings within his own works that were published within the, uh, the uh, oh, I'm, I wanna make sure I say it correctly, the medical physiology text that is used within the medical association. So it is taught to doctors, not in a overly dramatic way, and certainly not as a main way of uh, addressing issues of stress and what is caused as a result of that. So when there is stress in the body, essentially what is happening is your heart is starting to beat faster. It is pushing out through the capillaries additional fluid and blood proteins more than is needed at that given time. And when this happens, and if your lymphatic system or your white bloodstream, which is your purification system, isn't working properly, then you're not redistributing those blood proteins, excess fluid and sodium back, and all of the toxins that are being created by the cell back through the lymphatic system, through those lymph nodes, and then back into the bloodstream. Now this becomes especially important too with the blood proteins when albumin, which is a particular blood protein that is very important to be in the actual bloodstream. Now what these blood proteins do is they attract water. So when they get trapped between your cells, because they're naturally supposed to irrigate your cells, bring the oxygen, bring the nutrients, and allow them to receive what they need. And then the lymphatic channels are meant to take away all the waste products and keep just the right amount of fluid between the cells. So what is important to understand about this from a homeostasis perspective? First of all, we have to have that balance within our mind, the way that we're thinking about ourselves and about situations in any given moment our heart space, how we feel about things, right? This is what is having that effect on our neurological system, which is then in turn putting stress on all of the systems in our bodies. So when we can get the neurological system or the energy, right? So we think of our mind, if you wanna think of states of being and states of matter, the mind, the thoughts relate to the gas state, right? They're the first state that we start to form the energy and the, I guess you could say the intensity or the, uh, mm, the substance, right? So that's where it starts is in the mind. Then you start to build on that with your emotions. That becomes the water state, the liquid state, right? So that is the conductor. That is that medium, if you will, that moves the messages across the channels and into the cells, right? And are then the cells are working towards either that more positive state of thinking and feeling or the more negative state. You're automatically going to speak and your actions are gonna be reflected as a matter of how you're holding that emotional and mental state. Now you're starting to build on that more. It becomes more of that protoplasmic state, as they say. And literally, you are creating into, manifesting into existence, into that uh, 
So then it becomes the solid state, right? That's the body, that's what's coming out. So what is being circulated through your body and into this world even because we are connected to the electromagnetic magnetic field and that is how we are all interconnected we actually determine the state that we're holding within our bodies from that more positive or negative state of charge or neutral we can always go to a neutral state this is the really cool thing that if we understand how powerful we are we really do have that ability to affect that's you know the way the homeostasis within our body but also the homeostasis within the world because as above so below as within so without and this is all true guys so whatever we're helping to center within ourselves we're helping to center above here on the earth and above up in the heavens and the ethers and that is affecting that electromagnetic field and everything else around us so understanding that you are helping to purify your system every time you move into that more neutral state and one of the easiest ways that you can do that is close your eyes and just neutralize first off your mind and your emotions and breathe slowly and deeply this actually activates the lymphatic system it has actually been shown verified that it moves that fluid through it allows you then to be able to get to that calmer state of being it reduces the inflammation reduces the pain this is how we're creating that ability because the stress and the effects that are caused on our body that causes that additional fluid between ourselves where then we can't get nutrition we can't get the electricity the oxygen all of the things that we need for the cells to be powered properly right this is actually considered the internal flooding as dr c samuel west calls it so we're trying to prevent this state and what i'm teaching you and what i'll continue to teach you is how to help to set up that noah's ark within your own body meaning you're able to set up the process to prevent the in internal flooding now if you all follow the bible or have you know about noah's ark and how he was instructed to build that so that you know he and his family and then he was also directed what people to take as well right that would be saved from the destruction do you want to save yourself from the destruction dr west believes and that's what he taught is that we understanding what is causing the internal flooding within ourselves by entertaining you know stress and you know dealing with it on a regular basis we're setting up these chronic conditions within our body that is causing the pain and suffering basically and we basically have an opportunity to be able to have an effect on that in a very direct way so i hope you'll continue to follow me i am putting out a book in regards to some key ingredients within folk medicine and i wanted to know why they were so revered and why they worked so well so i did my own research into it and this is how i came across dr west to begin with because he explains about the cells generators and these ingredients actually support that those generators which actually create energy at the cell level guys so i want to help you to live your best life if there's anyone out there editors publishers you know any people podcast people who would like to work with me absolutely i would love to spread this message because you have the ability to set your body up in the condition where if the cells are in the right condition guys and this is what you are on the microscopic level you are cells you know just a conglomerate of cells basically if the conditions are right you absolutely have the ability to resist attack by disease so keep following me i have so much to teach but this was just a little bit today to share more about dr c samuel west who i give a big shout out to because he practiced here in mesa arizona and he did a lot of good showed people how to relieve pain speed healing i'm going to teach you about all of that with the brushing technique and the deep breathing to help with all of that as a matter of fact i have a burn that i got on my hand last night and all you can see is a little bubble here right now i need to do some more brushing on it but literally within 24 hours, like I took the redness away, there's no pain. You can literally help to make the healing time faster, to go by much faster by knowing what techniques to employ. So 
Keep staying with me. I'm going to teach you so much. If you have any questions or if there's any topics you would like for me to cover, Matt saved born again, second earth. Okay. I'm not sure what that has to do with what I'm talking about, but I'll certainly take a look into that. Thank you so much. And thank you to everybody who's joined me here today. Blessings to your health. Your health is your wealth. So invest wisely. All right. Mwah. See you soon. Bye-bye.